Now, a major meat packaging plant is now closed because of an outbreak. Two employees of JBS and Greeley have died. More than 50 others have tested positive for the virus. The facility will now be closed until April 24th, this giving the company some time to test all of its employees and disinfect the plant. Jeff Todd looking into the impact of this shutdown. And Jeff, you've been talking to experts about what this means for our food supply. Kelly, the folks who run Albertsons and Safeway say this isn't going to affect their stores at all. In fact, talking to those experts, they say when people saw those empty shelves a few weeks ago, that's because there was such a spike in sales. No one thought that this closure of this plant would really affect grocery stores here in Colorado. Any one facility for beef, for poultry, for, for dairy products, is, is not an, uh, an issue for the supply chain overall. While the JBS plant in Greeley is the area's largest employer and one of the company's biggest plants, in the grand scheme of our food, the closure isn't expected to have a big impact. You're not eating in restaurants, but you're eating at home. It's the same amount of chicken that got eaten. It's just now the channel by which you get it is different. There is growing concern at other plants, like this one near Fort Morgan. In other states, plants have closed because of COVID-19, but experts still say the food supply is in good condition. The concern maybe in the short run is, is there'll be uh, uh, ranchers and farmers that will have product to get to market. We've been paying very, very close attention to plant closures. Terry Fankhauser is with the Colorado Cattlemen's Association. He says many ranchers will likely have to hold on to animals longer with the JBS closure. We start to backlog that supply and uh, subsequently, you know, we create uncertainty in the marketplace. But for you and me, this really shouldn't affect the consumers at this point in time. We have abundant supplies of beef and cold storage. Greg Macaluso, that CU professor, says he's hearing that a lot of other companies are taking social distancing more seriously so that their plants can stay open and they can keep these shelves stocked. We're live in Wheat Ridge tonight. Jeff Todd covering Colorado first.